In today's rapidly evolving landscape, artificial intelligence, cryptocurrencies, and technology stocks have emerged as standout performers, driving innovation and reshaping industries across the globe. On today's episode, we will talk about that plus ETF strategies for participating. So stay with us. Welcome to the program. I'm Thalia Hayden. It's great to have you watching. Be sure to subscribe to ETF Guide TV and post your thoughts in the comments section below. You can also watch our original programs like Spotlight, ETF Battles, and the rest of our lineup right here along with Apple TV, Amazon Fire TV, and Roku, so don't miss out. With advancements in AI algorithms, cryptocurrencies, and technology, these industries are not just thriving, but setting new standards for growth and efficiency. Investors have certainly taken note. Here to elaborate is Ed Egolinski at Direction. Ed, welcome back. Great to see you again. Great to see you. Okay, here we go. Cryptocurrency equities are among the fastest growing companies in the world. We know Direction recently launched two ETFs for investors to get exposure to the fast moving high growth area. There's the Direction Daily Crypto Industry Bull 2X Shares, ticker LMBO, and the Direction Daily Crypto Industry Bear 1X Shares, ticker REKT. What makes these two ETFs unique? Well, first off, I got to give marketing credit for the for the innovation on the tickers, LMBO, fast driving Lamborghini, 2X bull on the uh, crypto industry stocks and REKT wrecked. Uh, if you think crypto stocks are going to go down, uh, we have an inverse ETF to play that direction. Uh, this is the first of its kind where you could have traders, active traders getting magnified exposure on the bull side to crypto related stocks, uh, as well as if uh, individuals want to take the bear thesis, we have the inverse 1x uh, for these crypto related stocks. They consist of 25 stocks, this index. Uh, the screening process to get to those 25 stocks is keywords and phrases related to the industry and also at least 50 percent of their revenue generated from the crypto space. Uh, and right now, this basket includes the likes of Coinbase, NVIDIA, Riot, Robinhood, Marathon Digital, a lot of names that people know. It rebalances quarterly and no one stock could exceed seven and a half percent. So this is a really a way to access crypto related stocks outside of owning uh, the pure uh, Bitcoin or Ethereum. Uh, so this is a good way for traders that want to trade the crypto related stocks. Uh, and have a thesis on a short-term basis, whether bull or bear. Sounds like a good way. All right, shifting gears right now, the Direction HCM Tactical Enhanced U.S. Equity Strategy ETF, ticker HCMT, was highlighted by Morningstar in an elite group of the best 10 performing ETFs during the second quarter. So congratulations on that. So help us understand HCMT's investment strategy and holdings. Well, this is a way for investors to participate in an enhanced equity strategy where they normally wouldn't use leverage on their own. So we have a sub-advisor. They're a tactical active manager that can use leverage when the market's trending higher and in cash during times the market's trending lower. And this is a proprietary rules-based model by Howard Capital Management. They have over 15 years of experience trading what's called this byline strategy. And when the signal's bullish, they'll have a 2x exposure to the S&P 500, the Qs, and an individual sector with the strongest momentum as a satellite. So just to recap, in cash, when the byline strategy is bearish and when the signal is long, it will have an enhanced exposure leverage uh, to the S&P, NASDAQ, and a single sector. Now, this would be considered a satellite holding within somebody's large cap equity exposure. And it's a high risk reward. Uh, as you noted, uh, for the most part, the stock market's trended higher. Uh, the momentum's been strong. As a result of that, HCMT is up over 20% this year. And of course, the S&P and NASDAQ have lagged that. Uh, so this is a way to participate in a tactical strategy for those that are using active managers. 
uh, that may want to incorporate leverage, but not on their own. All right. Makes sense. And technology stocks continue to be a performance leading sector. The interest in everything from AI to blockchain and semiconductors is getting headlines. Direction's ETF lineup offers a few different ways to participate. So can you tell us more about that? Sure. Let's let's talk with uh, start with the tech sector. It's been a leading sector in the market this year again. So we have a triple leverage bull and bear. Tech L is the bull. Tech S is the bear that tracks the 3x daily returns of the S&P Select Tech Sector Index. Some of you might know there was a recent uh, rebalance. Now Microsoft and NVIDIA make up the largest percentage of the uh, S&P Technology Select Sector Index, along with Apple. Uh, and this is really a way to, uh, to trade short-term views, whether bullish or bearish, on the tech sector itself. Now, semis also, they've probably been a leading industry in the tech sector the last couple of years. Uh, our triple leverage bull and bear that tracks the NYSE Semiconductor Index is SOX L is our bull, SOX S is our bear. Uh, SOX L is our largest fund within the Direction Leverage and ETF franchise. It's over 10 billion uh, in AUM. Uh, this year, it's interesting. We're seeing more outflows into SOX L and inflows in SOX S as a contrarian trade. But this week, semiconductors have pulled back. Uh, as a result of that, we're seeing a lot of inflows back into the bull SOX L. You mentioned AI. Semiconductors are certainly related to the AI trade. Uh, we recently launched the 2X bull and bear uh, on uh, AI and big data stocks. Uh, AIBU is the 2X bull. AIBD is the bear. And I think there's big questions now, especially with earnings seasons coming, with CapEx spend in a lot of these companies, will they ultimately lead to subsequent revenue? So there's a big question. Everybody loves AI and talking about it. Uh, the thesis sounds great, but will it translate into revenue for these companies ultimately with the spend? Speaking of technology, some investors are concerned about the top-heavy nature of the NASDAQ 100. Almost half of the index is allocated to mega-cap stocks like Apple, Amazon, and NVIDIA. Instead of abandoning the NASDAQ 100 completely, an equal weighting approach could offer some benefits. Can you tell us more about the non-leveraged direction NASDAQ 100 equal weighted index shares, ticker QQQE? Yeah, as you denoted, the MAG-7 makes up roughly 40% of the NASDAQ 100 index weighting. And there's, of course, single concentration risk within the index, particularly with those names. Uh, in addition, there's also sector concentration. The tech sector makes up over 50% of the index. So if investors are looking uh, for a way to diversify beyond the MAG-7, we have an equal weight approach to the NASDAQ 100. Simple enough, uh, each stock within the index will have a 1% weighting. So Microsoft, which is the largest weighting uh, of the NASDAQ 100, will have the same weighting as the 100 stock, which I think right now uh, is ARM Holdings. So this really provides a way to get broader diversification in terms of the stocks that are participating as well as broaden out the sectors where tech is less of a focus and you have a broader spectrum of sectors that are participating within the equal weight. And it also provides a, a potential additional source of returns. Uh, this index rebalances on a quarterly basis. We're seeing a tremendous amount of inflows this year, albeit that the MAG-7 has really generated the majority of the returns in the market again this year. Uh, a lot of investors, advisors are looking to diversify and broaden that potential return stream within the portfolio. And that's where QQQE comes in. Ah, that certainly makes sense. Well, the global demand for reliable and clean energy has put nuclear power back into the spotlight. Uranium is the fuel needed for nuclear plants and uranium prices have hit 15 year highs. Now the Direction Daily Uranium Industry Bull 2X shares, ticker URAA, taps into this mega trend. So can you tell us more about the strategy behind URAA? Yeah, sure. And uranium has been very popular. Uh, and to play on this, what we've decided to do is we created an index uh, that represents the largest two uranium non-leveraged ETFs, and, and that's the Global X URA and Sprott's URNM. So the index comprises of a weighting between those two ETFs, a 2X bull. So these are designed for short-term traders. 
Uh, and this index is mostly made up of stocks uh, that mine uranium uh, or produce nuclear components. And it's rebalanced quarterly. And the weighting is based on the size of those two underlying ETFs. And some of the biggest stock holdings are Cameco, which is a Canadian uranium mining stock, and physical uranium itself as, as well. And as we know, uranium is a crucial component in uh, nuclear energy. Uh, and uranium has really uh, been strong in terms of upside, uh, mostly because the production is not meeting the nuclear reactor demand. And one last thing before we let you go, Ed, assets and trading volume for single stock ETFs, that is surging. And Direction offers single stock ETFs on the Magnificent Seven, which includes an elite group of mega caps like Apple, NVIDIA, and Meta, among others. So how do the funds work and what type of trader or investor might use them? Well, they're single stock, as you mentioned. So we have 2x bull, if you want to express a short-term bullish view on all the MAG-7. Uh, in addition to that, if somebody feels a bearish thesis, we have a non-leverage inverse bear on all seven as well. So you can take either side of the trade there. Uh, you have a lot of headlines with the MAG-7, so people are always looking to trade off of that. And in addition to that, you have earnings coming up, particularly next week with some of the, the MAG-7 itself. So people like to trade pre and post earnings uh, off the news of those stocks. Uh, we're seeing individuals use the non-leveraged inverse bear on a lot of the MAG-7 because clients have embedded gains. Uh, they don't want to necessarily sell, particularly with taxable accounts. So this is a way to potentially hedge out that risk in those areas. Uh, our most popular single stocks are Tesla, TSLL, which is the 2X bull, uh, as well as NVIDIA, uh, the 2X bull, which is uh, NVDU as well. Uh, that franchise uh, right now is collectively almost at $3 billion. So we're seeing a lot of continued uh, interest there um, and short-term traders uh, looking to take advantage of some of the momentum, maybe further upside with the MAG-7. Uh, but in other cases, uh, a number of traders are looking to uh, sell, thinking that there'll be a reversal in trend so they can take a bearish thesis or hedge against their gains in those stocks. All right, Ed, thank you so much for dropping by and helping us stay on top of the latest market trends. Keep up the great work. Thanks for having me, take care. And be sure to visit Direction.com to learn more about Direction's ETF lineup and strategies for positioning your investments for the road ahead. I'm Thalia Hayden, thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.